My hard drives are running out of space and I need to compress my video files to free up more, but I don't want them to lose any quality. Impossible, right? At the moment they're rendered in Vegas using the AVC file type, which is similar to H.264, which itself is a decent file type that's used everywhere. But there's a newer H.265 format which claims similar video quality but at half the file size. Time to put it to the test by rendering the original uncompressed video through a program called Handbrake at various qualities. But how small am I willing to go? How much detail do I mind being lost? Really, I make stuff for YouTube, so as long as it's roughly that sort of quality, I don't mind. In fact, I'm going to say this now. I'm not an expert in video compression. I'm a YouTuber. I make YouTube videos. I only know as much as I need to, so this video isn't so much a guide for you as much as it is research to help me. Remember this if I don't use the correct jargon. In fact, let's start off with something that experts will immediately disagree with. I think YouTube's video quality is pretty decent. I uploaded this stress test video to the site in both HD and 4K. I know the video is only HD, but uploading to 4K allows for a higher bitrate and therefore more detail to be shown on screen. We'll start with the lower quality HD format. Here's how it compares to the original. You'll notice that YouTube's has more contrast. The darker areas are darker, the brighter areas, brighter. If we try to restore the original settings, you'll see why this is. I reckon YouTube saves bandwidth by squishing everything down into the middle tones and then by artificially stretching them back out across the whole brightness spectrum again. This has probably helped my videos in the past since I said in my previous video that Shadowplay makes everything brighter. But still, it's good to know. Next thing to observe is the texture quality. In slow moving areas, like this brightly lit wall, things are fine, but elsewhere it's been reduced to a sludgy, blurry mess. This is a telltale sign of video compression. The smaller you make your file, the more this happens. Just like the problem itself, it's also blurry as to where you should draw the line. What's acceptable? With videos, you're not analysing a single frame. You're watching 60 of them a second, and most of the time, you won't notice stuff like this. That's why I think that YouTube's video quality is actually pretty decent. You can still spot the red blotches, but it hardly ruins your experience. Plus now there's a 4K mode. I've never directly compared this to YouTube's HD mode before. In brightly lit areas it's about the same, but it effectively doubles the clarity in the darker, fuzzier spots. The difference is even more apparent in the outside shot. It has enough bitrate to even include detailed spots on the floor texture, and the grain on the walls that wasn't even there in HD mode is now pretty much spot on, even if it is reddish in colour. So the question is, do I want to compress my video files down to YouTube's 4K or HD quality? If I had unlimited storage space, I'd keep everything uncompressed. But I don't, so compromises have to be made. As it is, there are currently Vegas quality AVC files which seem a little bit better than YouTube's 4K mode, particularly in bright and dark areas, and I'm looking to halve their size, relying on h 265 superior compression to achieve this. I rendered a number of quality settings, ranging from very good to very bad. I could only start seeing changes compared with uncompressed after about quality 15, and they didn't matter until much higher again. Because of the contrast issues mentioned earlier, it's difficult to compare to YouTube's qualities, but a setting of about 19 was similar to that of YouTube's 4K mode for texture detail, and HD mode was about the same as 23. At that setting, my video collection would be just one third the size that they are right now, and two thirds if at 4K quality. Quality 21 would be the ideal size, since it's less than half the size of the original. But if only it was close to the quality of 4K. Which is where Handbrake's Optimize Video feature comes in. By giving the computer more time to think about the video, it does a better job of putting detail where it matters. Setting it down from very fast to slow made 21's quality better. I'd say even better than quality 20 in very fast mode. But even more importantly, it can also make the file size significantly smaller. 21 in slow combines the file size of 23 with the video quality of 20. It's absolute hacks. The only problem is that it takes significantly longer to encode. And I mean a lot longer. For lols, I also tried encoding quality 19 using the placebo setting and got myself a file smaller than 21 and better than 18. H.265 is good enough and very fast to be worth it, but the optimised video setting makes it a no-brainer. I'll be sure to use it to compress my future videos. Now on to audio. I hate Handbrake's default settings. I am no audiophile. I struggle to tell the difference between 128 kilobit mp3 files and flax. And yes, I own a decent pair of headphones and have used earplugs for nightclubs since my teens. But I hate AAC at 160 kilobits per second. Welcome to Going Low in CSGO. It's safer here. Welcome to Going Low in CSGO. It's safer here.
Welcome to Going Low in CSGO. It's safer here. Welcome to Going Low in CSGO. It's safer here. It sounds digital and crackly, and the handbrake loves to revert to it whenever you look away from your screen. I ran the video through numerous file formats and separated the good from the bad. The one I like most is FDK. Welcome to Going Low in CSGO. It's safer here. I'd argue that even at 96 kilobits per second, it sounds good. But just to be safe, I'll use 160 kilobits per second, just in case any audio files are around. So, H265 at quality 21 with 160 kilobit per second FTK audio is my desired config. But which optimization setting should I choose? Well, I'm a patient man, but even I can't justify the best settings here when I have hundreds of videos to process, most of which are significantly longer than just 8 seconds. Time-wise, medium looked like the best compromise, but I couldn't argue with slow's extra compression. I knew that the result may vary between videos, which is why I collected a few sample ones to see how long very fast, medium and slow would take. And these were the results. Thankfully there was negligible difference in file size between medium and slow in the ones that I tested. But slow took almost three times longer to encode. Medium it is then. You'll see that I also tried the going low in CSGO friends video, but at slow settings it would have taken over two hours and I was all like, screw that. Maybe for videos going forward, but with so many done already, I can't justify the extra time it would take. I choose medium as my desired optimization setting. And now all I have to do is to leave my PCs on for hundreds of hours as they slowly process every video that I've already made. It will take weeks, if not months, but it will be worth it. I must have spent at least 50 hours researching these settings over the last few weeks. On many occasions I just wanted to get started with the bulk of the videos, but I'm pleased that I've been patient, as in the long run I think they will save me time, video quality and hard drive space.